What, in terms of our, the problems and the challenges that are, we're experiencing, what do you think about the disclosure and the contact phenomena that everybody's talking about, and how does that um, phenomena tie into Gaia and her grids and the energetics and all of that kind of thing? What particular disclosure project is your pet one? Well, the there one... There are many, you know. Yeah, the one that... Um, and which is the theory that you ascribe to. That is quite interesting as well. The one that is talking about um, the fact, or what they're talking about, Dr. Greer, Stephen Greer is one of them, that is um, studying the UFO phenomena and the fact that there are other beings out there and that the you know a lot of people, especially in America, in the governmental bodies or whatever are aware of this but don't want the people so much to be aware of it. And I just wonder how contact meets grid kind of Gaia kind of thing. You know, the beings from the heavens and our galactic family joins, you know, the earth family. Very well. What this particular doctor, this particular theory puts forward is true for the most part. Now, not all of his facts are in order. This I will tell you, it is not necessarily a discredit to him. It is not that he brings about such knowledge to bring to others for the folly of it. It is simply that not all of his facts are in order. And that is the way to put it. They are not in the right order. Were we he to order certain facts together, he would begin to have different realizations which he could then put two and two together, as they say, and have an even better theory than he does. However, for the most part, what he says, what he brings forward is true. Now, he, on many different levels, is assisting humanity to the degree that he can in bringing knowledge forward again and again and again, making it commonplace to discuss such beings from there and from here. Now, in terms of contact and such, I would say to you not to watch the skies as much to see what is coming down from the skies, but truly to know that most of those that are part of this first contact scenario, most of them, they are already here. You see, they are already here. Now, how will it come about? Well, there are many different medical anomalies now. And interestingly, many of those that have come from parts that are extraterrestrial, beyond the Terran area, have a different organization of cells. And many of these are able to manage most of their essences, most of their bodily functions, most of their systems quite well. In fact, better than the average human, except in a few areas, for each one has certain anomalies as well, in which the extraterrestrial aspect does not completely merge well with the present human system, because it was hoped for in some ways that the human system would have been a little bit more advanced. This was all planned, as you might imagine, eons ago, when time does not truly exist in its linear fashion. Now, these particular beings and these anomalies will little by little simply begin to emerge, emerge a little bit faster, a little bit sooner than they would for the average human. Because, again, some aspects are speeding up a little bit faster than others, as we said. These beings and their energy being a little bit lighter in their systems are programmed, in essence, to grow or exhibit certain characteristics. And these will begin to come about a little bit sooner and based on possible generations that many of them are bringing forward. For the most part, and for now, most of these beings are not the marrying sort. They are not your average human in your average job. However, they are interspersed within all of your societies and countries and such. But they are not necessarily in your typical family environment. And part of this acceleration these anomalies will begin to come forward and there are those that will marry and have offspring and they will have unique and special qualities known to be for the next generation. As these become more obvious, 
there will be more of them, they will be measurable, and as these become to be measured, they will be seen to be significantly different than what has already been. And particularly of those that are the next generation, they will also have unique memories, expanded memories. They will have their human memories, and then they will have external memories. A little bit like your computers. You have your computer, and you have an external drive, yes? These individuals will be a little bit like that. They will have their human brain, and they will also have access to something that is like a community engagement, a community of thought, of memory. And they will connect each with each all around the globe. And so this will then invite more of these anomalies that are taking place. And so this is a gradual, it will not be the great announcement that are, many are hoping for, but it becomes more and more obvious that it is not one human family, but that the human family is great and extended. Now, as this communication expands and becomes much more, this will then allow this community of humans to say, well, if they are here, and they are us, and we are them, then what are we doing only here? And this thought will then open the door, not so that the human family can access their memories, but in essence that they can pass through the door, the same door to the next generation, the next way to be. And then that is when humanity becomes what you call the galactic family or the space traveling family of humanity. That is when you begin to create ships and ideas and, and the next great space race comes from that. And already the plans are in place for all of this to have base stations upon the moon and upon Mars in particular. So all of this is coming. It is all current. It is all now. So it is not so much that you are waiting for. The